What's up guys? It's Meg and we finally get to talk about the sneak peek for season 5 of The Walking Dead. It's our very first sneak peek. It wasn't very long but I'm really really excited to talk to you guys about it today. Uh, I hope all of you have seen it. If not, I'm putting a link in the description. Um, watch it if you haven't and let me know what you guys thought about it. Um, but before we get into my kind of review predictions um, based off of the sneak peek, I wanted to talk about very briefly about the Talking Dead episode that aired last night with Chris Hardwick, Aisha Tyler, and Scott Gimple. Um, first off, was anybody else completely and utterly annoyed with Aisha Tyler? Seriously, I've never watched her in any shows before. I recognized her face, but I was so frustrated with her last night because I swear to God, every time Scott Gimple started to say anything, she would interrupt him and go on and on and on about her theories. Who gives a crap about her theories? I don't. I want to hear every little word that comes out of Scott Gimple's mouth and I swear she kept interrupting him. I was about to go through my TV screen and choke her. Uh, did any of you guys feel the same way? It was so frustrating because she would talk him in circles and by the time she was done going on and on about what she was saying, Scott didn't even remember the question anymore so he couldn't answer it. It was so frustrating. Um, so he did give away a few hints, but I swear by the time I was done watching the show I couldn't remember any of it because it was so frustrating. Um, but he essentially said, and if any of you guys got more from his questions or his answers, please let me know because I was trying so hard. Unfortunately, um, he made a Star Wars reference and I'm not big on Star Wars, so if any of you guys can explain that to me please explain it to me in the comments below because I was so interested in it but I wasn't following what he was saying hardly at all. Um, but still, it was very exciting. So let's go on to talk about the sneak peek. It was very, very short. I think a lot of people were disappointed with it. But really, what can they give us in these short, you know, 40 seconds to a minute long clip. They can't tell us anything. They don't want to spoil anything for us. And I actually thought that this clip gave away a lot. Um, so essentially the clip is of Carol standing on the railroad tracks and she's looking at something. I'm assuming she just killed a walker. Um, and all of a sudden out of the corner of her eye she hears, you know, she hears, sees something. She turns and there is a whole line of walkers. I'm talking way more than two adults and a baby can handle. So they immediately grab all of their stuff, Tyrese, Carol, Judith. They grab Judith, grab their bags, and run across the train tracks um, down and kind of around this little corner of the woods where they can hide. Um, and then you just see all of these walkers coming across the tracks and that's it, the scene cuts out. But there's been a lot of speculation on how do we think Rick and crew are going to escape Terminus and are Carol and Therese going to walk right in unexpectedly and get caught too? Um, so I think this gave away a lot. What I'm guessing is going to happen, and this is kind of my theory as of now, I haven't seen any other clips or previews. I've kind of been trying to stay away from some of the spoiling sites. I read a spoiler about Carol that had me upset <laughs> and now I've just, I need to learn my lesson. I need to. So I'm avoiding, um, trying to avoid the Spoiling the Dead Facebook page and anything else that might spoil things for me because as much as I want to know, I don't want to know <laughs> until I actually watch the episode. Um, so back to my theory on what is going to happen in episode 501. I think that we're going to spend most of the episode with Carol, Tyrese, and Judith. I honestly think that they are going to leave us hanging um, until probably episode 502. Um, but maybe we'll see Rick and crew in 501. So what I think is going to happen is we're going to be following uh, Carol and Tyrese and Judith in the woods and they are coming across this herd of walkers which could very well be the herd that the group ran into when they were on the medicine run um, when everyone was sick at the beginning of season four. It was a huge, huge mega herd. So, uh, you know, we didn't see that many walkers here with Carol and Tyrese, but we don't know how many are behind them. So it could very well be some something of massive proportions. Uh, that being said, so what I think is going to happen is 
Carol and Tyrese and Judith are on their way to Terminus, but this herd interrupts them. Um, they move off to the side, and I think that they're going to try and hide and avoid these walkers. There's no way that they can fight with a baby. Um, Carol can't take them on all by herself. If she's to hold Judith, Tyrese can't take all the walkers on by himself, so they've got to do their best to hide and not get seen. Um, earlier, in an earlier video, I reported that um, people on the ground, thanks to Spoiling the Dead Facebook page, had witnessed um, them filming a scene with Carol overlooking, you know, she was standing up at the fence looking down on Terminus and it looked like she was wearing a bloody jacket of some sort. So I reported that, but we didn't know at the time what was going to happen. And then we started seeing all of these scenes being filmed of walkers sort of invading Terminus, explosions. We knew something went down. Um, so putting all of this together, I really think that this herd is going to come down and destroy Terminus. And maybe Carol gets all the blood on her from killing walkers as they're trying to avoid it. But either way, they're going to see Terminus get run over with walkers. And they're probably just going to watch and, you know, in their minds it's probably going to be fairly sad because there was this glimpse of hope. They don't know that these Terminus people are really bad people, but they see it as this glimpse of hope that is just destroyed. And I think that they're going to be leaving and Rick and crew are somehow going to escape, you know, in the midst of all of the, you know, walkers attacking Terminus and all of the stuff that's going down. I think that Rick and crew are going to escape. I'm not quite sure how they're going to get out of the train car um, or get weapons, but I think that they're going to somehow escape and they're going to be running through the woods to escape when they see Carol, Therese, and Judith. Um, whether or not all of this happens in the first episode, I'm a little unsure, but I think within the first two episodes, that's going to be our story. Uh, I watched some of the behind the scenes videos that um, were released by AMC on YouTube during the Dead, White, and Blue marathon. And, you know, you don't really think that you're getting that much, but there were a lot of hints in there about what's happening because as they're talking, and narrating this video, you can see in the background our actors filming. And there was one scene in particular of Rick and crew in the woods, and they're walking through the woods, and Daryl runs forward as if he sees someone. I really think that at this point, they're seeing Carol and Tyrese and Judith, and that's why Daryl runs forward. You know, he thought he's never going to see Carol again, and they do have this bond there. I'm not going to get into any Daryl, Carol, Daryl, Beth. <laughs> <laughs> um, topics right now. Uh, not going to do that in this video, but I really think that they do have a connection, friendship or not, um, where he's going to be very excited to see her. And I think that that was the scene that they're filming. Um, I don't think that we'll probably see that in 501. I think that we'll probably get to see that reunion in episode two. They're going to make us wait. They're going to leave us hanging at some point at the end of 501. They're going to drag it out. At the very end, they're going to leave us hanging, begging for more. It's not going to be enough. Um, okay. Did I ramble or what? I know. I rambled so much, you guys. It's really hot in here. I don't know if you can tell just how much I'm sweating right now, <laughs> but it's really hot in my house. Um, that's it for this week, guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts, theories, what's going to happen. No spoilers, though. Uh, so if you're looking at the Spoiling the Dead Facebook page and you know something I don't know, do not tell it to me as if it's fact. Put it out there as a theory or something, but I don't want to be spoiled. So <laughs> leave your theories down below, guys. I hope you have a fantastic week. Stay tuned next week for more videos. Uh, I love you. Bye.